right. Now that we have reviewed what the left arm does and the right arm does, now we must learn what to do with our hands. Now initially, I would ask you all to just point your hand out here with your thumb up, your left hand flat, that is the back of the hand is flat, the thumb is up, and all you do from here is point your palm at the ground. Palm at the ground. Flat left wrist, palm at the ground. If you made it in the form of a fist, it would just do this. Right? Now, if I told you that that is all that your left hand does during the entire golf swing, you'd probably say, no, why? <laughs> now, let's get the right hand in the same condition, thumb up, flat right wrist there, and all we do here is bend the right wrist backward and put it back where it was. Just bend it backward, put it back where it was. And my friends, I'm happy to tell you that, that is all that the right hand does. But if we put those together, you see, it would look like that. This would be starting the backswing, and this would actually be what your hands do going through the golf ball. Now, from here, of course, the entire motion proceeds to the long, straight right arm down the line. All right, now let's examine that a little more closely as far as the left hand condition. The key to understand here, if we look at the golf club, and incidentally, this training grip is really uh, a very valuable training aid to teach you how to put your hands on the club. If we think of the bottom of the heel of the hand going on the very top of the golf club, the very top, so that in fact, the club is really holding itself. See, the heel is on the top, the forefinger is here. Am I squeezing the club? Of course not. The club, the weight of the golf club is holding itself on these two pivot points, the heel and the front forefinger. Now from here, if we merely close, close the three fingers, put the thumb down on the right side of the shaft, we can see that this V does point at the right shoulder. Now, there is no grip pressure other than the weight of the golf club. The left wrist must be free to hinge up and down freely. Freely. This is a free oiled hinge right here. All right, now, as far as the right hand is concerned, remember all it does is bend back. We take the cup of the right hand, the, the inner palm of the palm, and place that right over the thumb. You can see how I'm just placing it right over the thumb. You'll find that the little finger will want to overlap the forefinger. The three other fingers just fit in there. And now you can see that both these really point in the direction of the right shoulder. Now, when we move our hands forward, to start the golf swing, the right wrist bending, the left turning, you can see that the hands, all they do is that. Now, to start the golf swing, then, we would turn the left, rotate, rotate it to the right. The right bends along with it, and you have this condition here, which we call one to two. Now, on two to three, you can see that all I'm going to do here is cock my right elbow. My hands did absolutely nothing from that point. When I say nothing, now, I mean nothing. But it is this point where the average golfer really gets into a lot of trouble because from here, he will want to cock his right wrist. Cock his right wrist, you see. And that is perhaps the biggest killer in the golf swing without, without you knowing it. I'm sorry, but that is the way it is. If you cock your right wrist, both wrists cock, your left wrist will be forced to bend. The club face is now in a open condition coming through the ball. And that, my friends, is why you hit high slices and your drivers and all these crazy shots are results, believe it or not, of cocking the right wrist. So there is no right wrist cocking motion. It's only a bending motion. The reason the golf club in the left hand gets cocked is because the right elbow cocks up and down, not the wrist. You understand that? So it's turn, cock the elbow, but not the wrist. So what did my right hand do at this point? The answer is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Once it bent back, it does nothing other than that. Now, when we start the golf swing down by pulling both forearms down, connect where you were, you're now in this condition. You fire that right hand out. Try to undo the bend. You won't be able to undo it because your left hip will be pulling behind you, you see. <laughs> you won't be able to undo it. As long as your left hip clears, your eyes follow the ball, you cannot possibly, what we call, throw it away. But there is the power, my friends, that most of you have been missing perhaps all of your golfing lives. Ben Hogan made the statement that he wishes he had three right hands. Well, why? 
What would he do with three right hands if he had three right hands? What would you do with three right hands? Of course, we, that's ridiculous, but he, what he meant was he wishes he had the power of three right hands to hit that ball with. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> You've been holding back all these years and all that power was always there. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? So, my friends, if you can do this and this and combine the two, you have just added 30 to 40 yards to your tee shot. In this particular view of the grip, I would like to show you how the top of the golf handle fits under the, under the left wrist palm. It, it must be under the palm so that it presents a pivot point, if you will. So the club technically is really holding itself, as you can see. I'm not squeezing it a bit. And from here, you merely close the three fingers, and because of the special grip, you'll see you'll educate yourself to put the thumb on what we call the aft part of the grip, behind it, if you will. Now, by moving the, uh, the head of the golf club backward, we can see how you flatten the left-hand grip. All right, now, the right hand, the palm, fits right over that thumb. Uh, if you've been bowling, right, it's basically the same as the bowling grip, you know, the three-hole three grip. Three hole grip. Now, you merely put the two fingers in here, and you see this. Notice that it is in the fingers of the right hand, not in the palm of the right hand, but in the fingers. And the cup of the right hand fits right over the left thumb, right over the left thumb. They go together. As a matter of fact, they, they fit together like two jigsaw puzzle pieces. It's just, and when you feel that, you'll know that that's right. And I would advise everyone to get one of these training grips, get a short golf club. You can teach yourself the entire golf swing in your own home. So if we reviewed, that's a turn and a bend. And then you just undo what you did as you go through the golf ball. That simple little motion, my friends, will do it all.